ones that stick it out. And if they don't give me room, well, then I'll give them a while. I'm gonna smoke my tires when the victory dies. I'm gonna be there, be there. I wanna see my face up on the jumbo screen. Feel the wild hot metal of a winning machine. Because you win or you lose, and there's no in between. I wanna be Here we are under the lights at the Chicagoland Speedway for the Verizon 200 quick race here at Chicago. And on the poles, the 92 of Marcus Sachi, two is outside the five of Steven Taylor. Then third, you have Laura Delano. Fourth is Alan Bowman. And running out the top five, you have Maya McDonald. Then sixth, you have Michael Canto. Seventh is JJ Reed. Eighth is Stefan Baker. And ninth, you have Danny Lloyd. And Derek Campbell rounds out the top 10. The rest of the fields, Jonathan Beefer in the 02 with Landon Lyons in the four. Then there's TJ Reed in second in points, Levi Shones. Then your points there, Colton Neal starting right back there with Steve Morgan in the 12. Then Matthew Swells, another driver up there in points, Alex Stewart in the 28. They have Justin Zidell and Jake Galloway, Jeff Bright and Tim Gary. Then there's Code Luigi and Diego Yepes, Tim Randolph and Carson Bowers. They have Riley Spray Tube and Keith Stevens, Luke Rainey and Trey Rainey. Then there's Jack Canaramo and Steve Larker. Isaac Nichols and Dave Sablito. And in the final race, Sebastian Kuzlan in the 32. Michael Ferris in the 23. Two's outside lane. For a 36 truck starting lineup here at Chicago. Let's get down to it. Let's get our command to fire the engines. Gentlemen, start your engines. Settle in, relax, take a deep breath. It's a long, hard race. You gotta pace yourself. And the field of 36 trucks rolls off the starting grid, fires up their engines. For nighttime racing here at the Chicago Land Speedway, the Penzo Truck Series returns under the lights. Their points leader, Colton Yo, up by only a few points over Levi Shones, who's up only a few points over Alex Stewart. So it's very close to the top of the points list for now. But after 21 laps, that could change. The pace truck is in. 21 laps under the lights here at Chicago. Marcus Sachi on pole. Two's outside, Steven Taylor in the five. Into the restart zone they come, and we are racing at Chicago Land. Green flag is in the air. And Alan Bowman in the 66 will take the lead late and he'll lead lap one. Mike McDonald who's inside. This is one of the tracks where you can go from the back to the front very easily. Doesn't really matter where you start here, just matters where you finish and if you can avoid a crash if a crash happens. Now McDonald goes up high down the back stretch, allowing JJ Reed the eight down to the bottom lane to take the race lead. He's charging up. He has the 98 of Danny Lloyd behind him. Now Lloyd looks to the bottom lane as Reed gets shoveled to the middle. Lloyd goes to the bottom. Here they come. McDonald to the wall a little bit there, so he came off a four, but keeps it straight. Danny Lloyd leads lap number two now. The 0-2 coming behind him, though. Jonathan Buford looking to make some gains. They're three wide further back. That truck trying to make their way forward, get into that middle lane. Now down the back stretch, Buford goes up, goes up. Here comes Stefan Baker in the 19. There's your front three in points, Shones, Yo, Stewart, all in the bottom lane. As Baker looks for the race lead, Shones behind him. Shones makes it three wide now. He wants to lead a lap here. Get five bonus points. Down the front stretch, can he do it? No, it's going to be, I believe it may have been the 98 up top of Danny Lloyd. It was by a few thousandths of a second he led that lap. Now Shones takes the race lead. As they come down the back stretch, Yellow looks to the bottom lane, though. Your points are trying to get five points. Those could be big. Extend the points lead if maybe he finishes just a spot lower than Shones. So those five points could definitely help extend that points. And here he comes. But look at Alex Stewart looking low. He wants those five points. He's up there in the championship hunt as well. Off of four, he's going to lead lap number four. It's going to be Alex Stewart by half a truck length and steals those five points from the 10 of Colton Yo. Here comes the 44, Tim Gary, three wide to the bottom for a second. Diego Yepes behind him, Carson Powers in the 16 coming up. Trying to get another win this season. Down the back stretch. Tim Gary, side by side with Stewart, moved the 44 to the top spot now. He goes up to the middle lane, Yepes has a run. Had to check up there, he got a little tight there, three by three in the pack though. 
3 by 3 inside the top 10. Tim Gary comes down to cover the spot. Yepes is still pretty far back. Has to get that draft up onto the 44 truck, and they're side by side for a second. Bowers moves to the second position. Riley Spurrier to buy him. How about Trey Rain down low? The six is coming of Steve Larker. 75, James Dabley also down the bottom lane. They race down the back stretch. Now for a second again, Riley Spurrier to with a push from Trey Rainey. Rainey makes it three wide for a second. Into the wall, that was Bowers in the 16. Keep going straight though. Yepes looks to the middle lane, trying to shovel that 16 up top. Look how they're fanning out as they go off into turn one. Larker for a second. Tim Gary's loving what he's seen. He can stay side by side right there. And Gary can try and just keep that race lead. Keep it on the bottom lane. But now it looks like Larker has that advantage down low. He's pulling up on that 44 already as they come off into turn number three. He's almost to his back bumper already. And Stablito couldn't stay on the bottom lane. He got shuffled up. He goes to the middle lane. He's all over the place. That 75 truck looks very unstable right now. And the 74, Keith Stevens comes low for third. Jack Kinnarama behind him. And here comes Isaac Nichols in the 29, making some noise. With Tim Randolph in the 52 behind him, Larker needs some help to get up to that 44. Tim Gary has it down the form of the 74, Keith Stevens. Three trucks break away at the front, down the back stretch. Now Stevens looks for a second in the, on the six. Nichols shuffled high. 52, Tim Randolph coming through. Nichols gets in behind the six of Larker. Tim Gary still leads here at Chicago. Keith Stevens second. Tim Randolph for second now in the 52. Michael Canto, Jeff Bright. They're coming up to the front. And a yellow could change everything in an instant. One yellow flag and if you're maybe trying to set yourself up for the end, then you have less time here at the back of the pack. You might be stuck back there. Tim Gary has it for a while. This race is there four wide for four. Some contact there. Yepes, Bowers, and it looks like they may have sorted out, but Tim Randolph grabs the race off into turn one. They settle that four wide down to three wide. That could have been a big crash, but some of the best drivers racing are the Pennzoil Truck Series. They keep it going straight. Randolph with the race lead. Jeff Wright looks low down the back stretch now. About the 17 of Derek Hamill, the 12 of Steve Morgan. There's Luke and Trey Rainey. Stab Leo back on the bottom. Bowers back down low. So here comes Hamill. Almost caught. Oh, around they go! A truck sideways off a of four. It's Levi Schoen, second of points. He spins it around on how much damage he has. The yellow is out. And I don't believe that 22 sustained much damage in that. And they're taking the caution flag. Derek Hamill with the race lead. With 11 laps to go. It's going to be a late race restart. Maybe about seven, six laps to go once to get back green. But Levi Schoen's second of points involved in a crash. But that 22 truck looks like it's pretty fine. Let's see how this occurred. This actually happened in front of Schoen's right here. You can see they're four wide there, bounce off each other. The 23, Michael Ferris, goes up high. Schoen's trying to laugh, trying to give him room. Right there, 23, bounce off the wall. Schoen's gets into it. The 22 goes around, but look at the job everyone does. 98 gets some contact right there, but it's not a lot. Schoen's just spins it around. I think, I think everyone should be able to continue on up to speed. Schoen's can even still win this race. He's at the back. You can make your way from the back to the front easily. See right there, Gowage kind of got forced up into Kukla and got forced up into Ferris. Then Schoen just had nowhere to go once that happened. And does a spin cycle, keeps it going straight. He's still in the race, but he's going to be 36, and then you have to come down Pero to get some tires on that truck. Let's go on board with him. Our helmet cam today, worn by the 92 of Marcus Sajin. He had a great view for this. First, we'll go on board with him, then we'll go to his visor cam. We'll see what he saw from the roof camera. There, the contact made around he goes, but. Great job there by Sachi to get low, get on the gas, and get by. Now let's see from his onboard. What did Sachi see? Look at the hands, too, as he gets by. Didn't panic. Just got on by. And calm as could be, but now he's at the back of the pack. He's going to have to make his way up there, and there's not much time left. So it's Derek Hamill with the racing in the 17 truck. Of course, they stay on the racetrack. And with under 10 laps to go, we're going to have a restart here in the Verizon 200. Coming back green this time, seven laps to go. Lap number 15, Derek Hamill is the one leading. As we mentioned, all 36 trucks still in this race. All 36 still have a shot. Derek Hamill out front in the 17 truck. Jeff Bright is in second. Steve Morgan third. Tim Randolph fourth. Luke Rainey rounds out the top five. They have Tim Gary's dominated. He's sixth. Trey Rainey seventh. Michael Canto eighth. James Dablio ninth. And Keith Stevens rounds out the top ten. Back to the restart zone for Derek Hamill in the 17-year race leader. And we're racing again. Green flag back out. 
Looks like it was a decent restart there, but I think Jeff Brett got a little bit of a better one right there. He's on his back bumper to the inside, goes into turn one. Jeff Brett wants to get to the race lead, get gone. Luke Ray shoveled up top by your dominant truck, Tim Gary. Down the back stretch. Jeff Bright inches ahead. And there comes Tim Randolph looking low in the 52. He's trying to get there. Jeff trying to hold him off. Randolph does get low. Tim Gary, Trey Rainey on the bottom lane. Who has time to write? Six to go. Tim Randolph clears into turn one. Jeff Bright still stuck up top. Here comes Tim Gary in the 44. He's looking low. Down the back stretch. He gets down there. Side by side, Tim Gary coming back. Trey Rainey, there's Canto. Stevens, Nichols, Delano, Luigi on the bottom lane. Now Gary up top. Here comes Trey Rainey in the 18 coming back. Where comes the 5 to go in the Verizon 200? 5 to go, yellow would end it. Rainey leads into turn 1. 3 wide, Stevens for second. Nichols in the 29, Delano. Luigi, Canarama, I think that's Stabley on the 75. Yepes, Baker, yo, your points leader. Stevens for the race off into turn number three. Nichols and the 29, look at three wide. Here he comes. The run, that 29 truck, one Daytona. Can he get one here at the Chicagoland Speedway? He's now got four laps left. Nichols leads. Here comes Cole Luigi trying to defend spot from Jack Caramel. He'll go three wide for a second. Canorama is pusher. And a whole train of trucks behind. Now Canorama looks low three wide. Here comes the 17 truck. Derek Hamill. Canorama three wide for a second. Off into turn three. Three to go this time. Canorama has a run, but couldn't get to Nichols right there. Now he's going to look low down the front stretch. Truck's getting almost up into the wall. We're still racing. Nichols sells the read. Canorama second. Three to go. Hamill shuffled to the middle lane by Stavolito. Yep, has coming up. Stefan Baker, there's Colton Yell, your points there, trying to extend it. Almost four wide as they come off turn number two. Canarama needs to get a run somehow, somewhere, where comes C2 to go. He's trying to find that run, he's trying to find that way around Nichols. He's looking low, he has a run there, four wide behind! This could end the race if a yellow flag comes out! Two to go, they're side by side, four wide behind for third! They're still four wide, can they make it back to the white? Four wide rubbing! Four wide banging! Up the track goes the 19! Four wide off of two! They keep it straight for now, we're coming to see the white flag, it's Canorama out front! But can they make it? They sail it down the three wide! Colton Yo going for a second! Three by three of the pack as they come to the white flag! Canorama leads! Your points lead are second, trying to extend that points lead! At the white flag, we're on the final lap of the Verizon 200! Can Canorama get back around? Can Yo get it? Here he comes to the bottom lane in turn one! Colton, yo, your points leader. Don't get out, Stefan Baker in the 19. He's digging hard in the bottom lane. Down the back stretch. Who gets it? Will be yo. Will be Cameron. Will be Baker. Off into turn three. He's looking low. The 19. Through three and four. Stefan Baker is down low. Colton, yo, is up top. They come off a four. Drag late. Points leader up top. Baker. They spin in the back. Baker wins. 13 crosses the stripe in the grass as Zydell. Almost spun around, but he kept his foot in it to finish 23rd. And it's Stefan Baker winning the Verizon 200 here at the Chicagoland Speedway by just over a hundredth of a second. Right there. Look at that. Three wide at the stripe. Nichols tried there. He just couldn't get anything done. Back there, you can see the spin happening with Zydell. But right here, Stefan Baker gets to the stripe over Colton Young Nichols by about a nose to win the Verizon 200. Now, how did this happen to Zydell for four? You can see right here, he's at the back of the pack, kind of. They're four wide. Looks like Bauer gets into Zydell. 13 spins it down into the grass, and he just kept his foot in it. He actually gained a few spots from going through the grass. He was 28th at the white flag. He gets up to 23rd and slows the truck down. He doesn't damage the truck at all. So, Zydell with a wild ride and coming to the finish line. It helps out. Stefan Baker gets a victory lane that number 19 truck. B. Uh, Brad Kozlowski got to be pretty impressed with what he just saw. Just got another victory in the Penzoil Truck Series. Let's go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Verizon 200 at the Chicago Land Speedway. 
There was only one caution flag for four laps and 10 lead changes, 10 different drivers led this race. Stefan Baker got out front at the end. He led the most important lap, only the last one. Colton, you know your points there. Tried to extend that point to the win, but he definitely extends it with a second place finish. He didn't even lead a lap here tonight. Isaac Nichols, so close to his second win of the season, held itself for third. Jack Cannon-Rommel in fourth, and DJ Reed rounds out the top five. They have Riley Sprue in sixth, Mathis Wells in seventh, Mike McDonald eighth, Alex Stewart in ninth, and Diego Yepes rounds out the top ten. So there's your top 20. There's the driver who led the most laps down. 13th, Derek Henley led under the yellow flags. So that's why he led the most. Danny Lloyd, another driver, led laps. He ends up 14th. As you see down here, driver who went through the grass. Justin Zidell ends up 23rd. He actually gained some spots doing that. Marcus Sachi didn't lead a lap. Ends up 26th from the pole position. Levi Schoen's second in points coming to the day. He got involved with Michael Ferris at the end. Schoen's can only get up to 34th at the end. Ferris had some pretty hard damage from hitting the wall. He finishes 36th and off pace. Now go look at the point standings. Here are points following that wild Chicagoland race. And it's Colton Yo with now a 44-point lead over Isaac Nichols, who is second. Alex Stewart falls to third, or actually keeps third, with his five of six top tens this season. Jack Cameron is now fourth, and Diego Yepes rounds up the top five in points. They have Luke Rainey in sixth, Levi Schultz from second to seventh, but still in a chase spot for now. Uh, Keith Stevens in eighth, Mike McDonald in ninth, and Tim Gary rounds up the top ten. So there's your top 20, and Stefan Baker with a great result. The victory moves him up to 11th in the points standings. Another driver with a win outside the top 10, Carson Bowers, is excuse me, is 17th. Those would be the two wild cards right now if the chase were to start. But still tons of time left for that chase. Anything could happen. Anyone can win. Look down at the rest, and some of these drivers down here, they definitely know they need to get it into high gear. They have to make some big moves here in points if they want to have a shot at a championship come chase time. After Chicago, we'll go to the next race, which will be at Atlanta for the Pepsi 250. I'll see you guys then.